In the previous video, we discussed about the functional anatomy of ovary. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the ovulation. Simply we can say it's the release of a mature egg or ovum from the ovary into fallopian tube, which is then fertilized by the sperm. Here in this animation, we can see we have the ovary. It releases the egg into the fallopian tube. And then within the fallopian tube, the sperm comes in and fertilizes the egg. Now let's get to the detailed mechanism of ovulation. In this diagram, we have the two hormones shown here. One with the green line is estrogen hormone. And the other one is LH, that's luteinizing hormone. And this peak here depicts the LH surge. On the left, we can see this part is before the ovulation and the part of LH surge is during the ovulation. We see the estrogen peaks and this estrogen provides the ovulatory stimulus. Then after 14 to 24 hours, we get the LH surge. And after that, we get the ovulation in between 8 to 36 hours of LH surge. The timing and the cycle varies in females. Like in this diagram, we have the cycle length of 22 days which is having ovulation period between 6 to 10 days. And likewise, we have different cycle lengths with varying ovulation periods shown in the diagram. Furthermore, when we see the ovulation process, first of all, we have the mature graphene follicle, which is followed by increase in the estrogen levels. This estrogen provides ovulatory stimulus. And then we get the LH surge, where LH peaks. This period commences after 14 to 24 hours of estrogen peak. And we know the LH surge mediates different pathways and have stimulatory effects. First of all, it drives the resumption of meiosis in oocyte. Second is the luteinization of granulosa cells, where we get the cell enlargement and progesterone synthesis. Then this LH surge drives the synthesis of prostaglandins like PGE2. Then this PGE2 in turn free proteolytic enzymes within the follicular wall. First of all, we get the activation of plasminogen activator. This plasminogen activator then acts on plasminogen and converts it into active proteolytic enzyme plasmin. And we also have the MMP1 here. All these proteolytic enzymes drive the degeneration of pre-follicular matrix. On the other hand, PGE2 drives EGF-like pathways, which induces the cumulus expansion. Here in this diagram, we have the cells surrounding the oocyte. These cells are called granulosa cells and are also termed as cumulus cells. When we have the LH surge, these cells disperse off and we see the expansion of cumulus, as shown in the animation. All the events weakness and ruptures the stigma of an egg shown in the diagram from where the ovum is released and that concludes the ovulation process. So this is how we get the ovulation process done. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.